Today's video is for anybody who is in a relationship that's been around for a while. It's not new, it's not fresh. And right now, you just can't stand the other person. They're driving you crazy. Everything they do is irritating. You are triggered all over the place. And you're wondering, God, do I even like this person? I'm Stacy Rothline and I help people create meaningful connections through healthy communication. So the first thing you need to know is this is normal in long-term relationships. You're going to have these periods of time where you kind of don't like each other. It just happens. You're not alone if you feel that way. That's happening to people in relationships all the time, but it doesn't mean it's the end. And that's what you first have to figure out. You have to figure out how big is this problem? And you can kind of go to how you normally feel about this person. And in particular, look at respect. If you have a respect for this person, you have a deep admiration for who they are and, and what their values are and, and what they believe and, and, and that exists, you're probably going to be okay. Now, on the other hand, you might have gotten into this relationship for the wrong reasons. Some people, you know, rush into a marriage because the clock is ticking or the person kind of checks all these boxes, but isn't necessarily someone that they deeply respect. So if you've got a bigger problem and you think that, gosh, I might not have ever really liked this person, I might have liked all these things around the person, then it's probably time for you to uh, ask some serious questions, maybe get a coach to help you work through that and then figure out what you're gonna do next. But for the other people who know that respect is there, know this is their person, and they just kind of can't stand them right now, there are things that you can do because this is just a phase. So here are some ideas. Number one, fake it till you make it through, okay? Believe that this is a phase. Believe that this isn't gonna last forever. There are a lot of different factors that can be contributing to this. It can be your own stress. It can be how busy you are. It can be stuff that's going on with the people around you and they're just the closest person to you and so your irritation is coming out on them. Just expect that this is going to go away and until it does, fake it. You like this person. You respect this person generally, okay? so. That's the first suggestion I have. The second one is keep doing your rituals and your routines. Keep that going, keep normal life going. If you always kiss each other goodbye when you go to work in the morning, you keep kissing each other goodbye. If you always have date night on Friday night, you might not be able to stand each other right now, but go on date night on Friday night. Don't stop doing the things that feed the relationship and keep the relationship in the healthy zone. Even if this person is driving you crazy right now, don't give that stuff up. It's those practices that are the threads that weave us through a long-term relationship. So make sure you keep your regular rituals and routines. And the last thing I want you to do is to make sure that you're not feeding the story but you're focusing on that deep respect you have. When someone irritates us, we sometimes will go into our head and we'll just kind of feed it. We're like, yeah, that, and also that, and that irritates me, and I can't stand that, and that's so annoying. We can do that. We can feed that story, but then what we start to do is we start to manipulate our own emotions around that person. And if we do it for too long, we will actually change our concept of their identity. Like if you go, that was a selfish thing to do, and you say that enough times, but like very, at one point in time, you're going to switch the wording to, he's selfish. And then you've got a bigger problem because now you're dealing with like an identity you're giving them. So don't focus on the stuff that's irritating you. When you feel yourself doing that, 
Lean into what you respect. Remember, why, why does this person have your respect and love? What are all the wonderful things about them? And they might be stressed out and doing irritating things. You can still balance out that energy by keeping in mind all of the things you love about them. Even if you're doing it internally, what are you grateful for about in your partner? What do you appreciate about in your partner? Like what are the values that, that they have that you love? What are the things that they've done in the past that have been wonderful? You want to focus on that instead of feeding the other story. So those are three easy things you can do aside from forgive yourself. It's okay. These things happen. It's what we do with them that really matters. And so fake it till you make it. Keep your routines and your rituals going and focus on your love and respect instead of feeding your story. Now, when we get into these moments in time where we're kind of irritated, conflict can happen more frequently, right? Because everybody's just kind of uh, got that irritated energy. And so we can be picking at each other and that's just going to exacerbate the problem. And you're going to like end up with something bigger than just this small thing. So if you're finding yourself in conflict and you want some tools and strategies to help you navigate that without making a bigger problem, I can help because I've got a PDF for you with 11 ways to turn an argument into a conversation and little strategies you can try right now so at least you can minimize the conflict because if you can minimize the conflict and you can do the other three things I suggested today so that this phase is quick and you, you get to the other side of it as fast as you can and as healthfully as you can, then before you know it, you are gonna be back in that experience of loving them and respecting them and feeling connected. And you're gonna wonder, God, why was I so irritated for that week or that day or whatever with them? This person's amazing. That feels a lot better. So if you need help with that, grab that in the link and happy, communication and relationship to you.